Hello, welcome to Valve Channel, I'm Stephen. In flow control system, pipes are very important going to use to control the flow median flow inside. And also, we need to connect all the pipes together to make a system. So we use one kind of mechanical component, which is called a flange, to connect a pipe together. In flange industry, the most important standard is ASME B16.5. In ASME B16.5, it almost covers all kinds of flange in flange industry. The basic flange principle in this standard is one flange will be divided to two sides. One side is going to connect with the pipe, and another side is going to connect with another flange. So in this video, we are going to talk about what kind of connection does one flange have for two sides. One side is going to connect with the pipe, and another side going to connect with another flange. When we're going to connect two pipes together, first we need to connect two pipes with two pieces of flange. And then we're going to connect two pieces of flange together. So that is the basic principle for flange connection. In flange standard ASME B16.5, we have several different ways to do the connection between the pipe and the flange. Like the first one called threaded connection. Threaded connection is we were going to machine a thread inside the flange. And then we're going to machine the thread outside the pipe. We're going to thread two pieces together. So this kind of connection we call a threaded connection. The next connection called a widening neck. Widening neck is one kind of widening connection for the pipe and the flange. We were widening two pieces together. The reason why this kind of flange have a neck because this kind of flange will work in high pressure environment. The neck will make the flange more solid, more stronger. We will put the pipe on the top of the neck and going to widen two pieces together. So this kind of connection we call a widening neck. Except the widening neck, we have another two kind of widening connection. One is called a slip on, another called a socket widening. The basic principle is the same. We will put the pipe inside the flange and going to widen two pieces together. The first one slip on look like this one. We will put the pipe inside the flange and widen two pieces together. And another called a socket wide. We will put the pipe inside the hole and widen two pieces together. So all those kinds of connections are working for the pipe and the flange. When we're going to design a valve in valve industry, almost all the valve flange already casting on the valve body. So we don't need to connect the flange with the valve body. So we call this kind of connection is the integrity flange. When we're going to design a valve, we just need to concern about another side, which is going to connect with another flange. So let's look at how many different connections in ASME B16.5 for the to flange connection. When we're going to connect two piece flange together, the basic principles are very easy to understand. We will use several bolt and nut to tie two piece flange together. Because inside the pipe it has a flow median inside, we need to seal two piece of flange, the gap between two flange. So we put the gasket between two flange to make a seal. So the bolt and nut will tie two flange and a gasket together to hold the pressure media inside. The pressure media will transfer the pipe and the flange and also transfer the gasket to another side. So that is the basic principle for the flange connection. Because inside the pipe, it has a pressure media. The pressure media can break the gasket, so it will be leak. So in different pressure environment, we use different flange design to hold the gasket, to protect the gasket, not broken by the inside pressure. So let's look at the standard ASME B 3.5, how many different design flange for hold the gasket inside. When we use gasket to seal two flange together, basically we have three kinds of design. One is called a raised face. Raised face don't have any kind of protection for the gasket. We just simply put the gasket in front of the flange. And another raised face flange going to cooperate with this one, going to tie 
the gasket between two flanges to make a seal. So this kind of flange connection we call a RF connection. And if the gasket are very thick, we even don't need the raised face. We just use the flat face are enough. We just put the gasket in here and put another flat face flange going to tie the gasket can make a seal. So this kind of connection we call a FF connection. But when the pressure getting higher, the inside pressure will push the gasket, even can break the gasket. So it will leak the flange connection. So we need to protect the gasket, not be breaked by the pressure. So we invent this kind of cooperation, which is called a MF connection. MF connection, the basic principle are very easy to understand. First, we put the gasket in female face. The female face, the step, will protect the gasket. And then the male face is going to cooperate with the female face to make a connection. So this kind of connection can protect the gasket inside. But when the pressure getting higher, this kind of MF flange is going to use around 600 or 900 per class. When the pressure class getting 1,500, we use this kind of flange connection, which is called a TG. Because we will totally hide the gasket inside the groove face. Whatever inside pressure are going higher or the inside medium flow speed are going faster, it will not break the gasket because the gasket already higher inside the groove face. So we call this kind of flange connection is TG. So basically we have three kind of uh, connection principle for the flange going to connect with another use the gasket. But the gasket still cannot work in very high pressure environment, like 2500. So in that kind of environment, we need to use this kind of flange, which is called a ring joint face. So let's look at what is ring joint face. Because the gasket are not totally made by metal, it contains a soft material inside. So gasket cannot work in very high temperature, very high pressure environment. When the pressure going higher than 1500 per class, this kind of connection are not safe. So we use another kind of connection which is called a RJ, ring joint face. We put a solid metal ring between two flange. When we're going to tie two flange together, this ring will seal the pressure medium inside. This kind of connection can work in 2500 pressure class environment. So here is the four different flange design in ASME B16.5. So next, let's look at uh, how to find the correct size about each design according to the ASME B16.5. When we're going to use ASME B16.5 to design a flange for the verb body, all the size were located in two tables. One table, all the size going to connect with the flange connection. For example, the outside diameter, the flange outside diameter, flange board circle diameter, and how many boards located in this flange, each board diameter. So all the size were going to connect with the flange connection. And another table going to tell you what kind of gasket and what kind of metal ring you can use. For example, how big this flange step have. It will going to tell you how big the gasket you can use. And also how big the groove this flange have. How big the ring you can use for this RJ connection. So all this kind of size are going to connect with the gasket and the metal ring. So we will use two tables to design one flange for the verb body to draw the blueprint. So next, let me show you two real blueprint to find out how to use these two table to find the right size for the flange. Here is a real gate valve, valve body blueprint from 18 inch 115 pressure class valve body, American standard. So let's prove does this valve body flange designed by ASME B16.5. First size is the flange outside diameter. According to the correct table, 
115 part class flange table. Size 18 inch. I already translate all the inch to millimeter. So the outside diameter is correct, 635 millimeter. And next size is diameter of board circle, 577.9. That is correct. That is correct. And also the number of the boards, diameter of the board hole, that also correct. 16. Each board hole is 32. Approximate 32. That is correct. So this table is for the flange connection. And also we have another table for the gasket. This flange will use the gasket size smaller than 533. So the gasket size we will use R to represent. According to this table, diameter of facing, this table can use for all kinds of flange, all kinds of pressure. So the R located here, the 18 inch, the diameter is 533.4. That is correct with our blueprint. So that can prove this blueprint, the flange designed by ASME B16.5. So let's look at another one. Here is another blueprint for the gate valve body, 6 inch, 600 pressure class. Let's prove that this American standard gate valve body, the flange designed by ASME B16.5. According to the standard, 600 pressure class flange, size 6 inch. The first size, outside diameter, which is approximate to 356, that is correct with our blueprint. And the next, which is diameter of board circle, which is 292. 292, that is correct. And this flange have 12 hole. Each hole diameter is 29. That is correct with our table. 12 hole, each hole, the diameter approximate to 29. So all the connection size are correct with the standard. And the next is for the step, for the gasket. This step, we use R to represent. So we're going to find the R located in this table. Diameter of facing for any kind of flange, for any kind of pressure. Six inch, the step diameter is 215.9 approximate to 216, that is correct. So this blueprint flange designed by ASME B16.5. So this is for today, some very basic information about the standard ASME B16.5 about the flange. Thank you for your watching, see you next video, bye bye.